Welcome back, everybody. Uh, here we are uh, on, this is Parkview Street, right? Parkview Road. Okay, and uh, your name? Brian Davis. Okay, Brian, uh, behind you is a house, that, and this is a house that has a, a tree that's on top of it. You were just a couple of doors down. What, was, what happened during the storm when this occurred? Well, it just started raining real heavy, and then the wind blew harder than I've ever seen it. I've been here over 20 years, and this, I've never seen wind like we had. All right, you've got a lot of people pitching in because you got to get this tree off the roof, and I see somebody coming in here now. Looks like they've got some supplies. Yeah, gas, oil, chainsaws, that's what we're going for. Okay, so you're going to fire at the chainsaw tonight. You're going to try and get this tree off the uh, house tonight? Right, we're lifting the tree off tonight. Okay, well, good luck with you, man. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll try and keep the storms away for you. Yeah, well, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, good. I'll let you get back to work because all somebody's right. here with, uh, looks like roofing nails and all kinds of things. So. All right, yeah. All right, all right, thank you. All right, thank you're you. Okay, welcome. yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay, well, see, Patrice, this is what's uh, been going on, and, and this whole neighborhood uh, looks like this. But this house especially has uh, quite a lot of damage with a tree on top of it. So uh, let me show you what's happening now because I know a lot of people are interested in is this going to continue through the remainder of the overnight? And the answer is probably not. Uh, you take a look at the Storm Team Town Storm Tracker, and of course, there are still some patches of rain. I have a little sprinkles going on out here right now. Uh, but the threat of severe weather has greatly diminished. There are no more watches uh, in effect. Now, there is a flash flood warning in effect for a little spot up in Park and I'm sorry, not Park, but uh, Edgar County and part of Clark County uh, because here in Terre Haute and other parts of the area, we got more than two inches of rain in a very, very short period of time. So officials are telling us that uh, to be careful, especially at night when you're driving, because in a lot of cases, the, uh, the stoplights are out. You can't see there's water over the roads. There are trees down. Down, and so travel should be done with extreme caution through the night time tonight. Temperature wise, Hey, you know, we're clearing out somewhat, by the way. In fact, the clouds are clearing off. Temperature-wise, it's a very mild night tonight. It's probably not going to get much cooler than it already is, which is right around 72 degrees or so. So the forecast for tonight is for the chance of a few patchy storms to continue. But as far as severe weather like we've had, I just don't see that happening. And then tomorrow, another very warm day. The possibility of some patchy storms, especially for the first part of the day tomorrow, still very warm, a high in the upper 80s. And then by tomorrow night, we start to get a little cooler, a little less humid air in, still rather warm and muggy, but you'll start to notice a little less humidity in the air by late tomorrow night. And then right now, Friday looks pretty good. A seven-day forecast shows us that Friday's okay, just a very slight chance of a lingering shower. Saturday looks good. The heat and humidity start to move back in as we get into next week. So for the time being, parts of Terre Haute are picking up. Terre Haute is not the only area. There are other, other parts across the entire viewing area that are also picking up. But this is one location. We just wanted to let you know what was going on. And, of course, I'm here with Gary, the photographer. And right now, everything's good, but there's a lot of cleaning up to do for the rest of the night. Stay tuned.